Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader as well as a medium here. And I'm here to give some type of messages from beyond. I just had a sneezing fit, so bear with me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so let's get started here. If you do like the paranormal, do check out my new book. The link is down below in the description box below. I literally heard the struggle is was real. Okay, meaning that they, they suffered, you know. It was a lot of mental anguish here. I do this is I do feel that this is a mother figure that passed away. She's in no more pain, no more pain. Uh again, I get this a lot from spirit saying that hey, if I'm happy, you be happy for me kind of thing. I'm no longer hurting, I'm no longer in pain. Somebody needed to hear that. I feel it's going to take some time to heal your energy. I do feel this is from a daughter figure here. Uh, this message is for. I feel that the husband is very frustrated with the, and I literally heard with the way that things uh, went with this. Okay. He feels very lost, obviously. Uh, but yeah, and I feel that he wishes that she was back, obviously. I feel that these two were, uh, I was going to say twin flames, but I'm feeling more soulmate here. Uh, meaning that they've known each other since they were little. Oh, that's cute. Uh, but definitely make sure that um, you check on, I literally heard, make sure you check on your father. I heard it just like that father kind of thing. It was uh, elaborated a little, okay? She does worry uh, over him for sure, is very, uh, very, very worried. Uh, he kind of like dazes out. Uh, a little bit. This is for the daughter to make sure that the father is okay. Uh, he still, he could uh, show up at, with a front on, you know, uh, meaning that nothing's wrong. But when he's by himself, he kind of spaces out. He's not, um, he's in another realm kind of energy, you know, on, of disbelief, unbelievable uh, that she is um, gone. Okay. Um She's smiling, which is making me smile. Uh, she's She was very sociable. She could have been, uh, I feel, air sign here. Energy does not have to be. Uh, Queen of Swords is air sign energy, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, but I feel that she was very sociable. She's I literally heard making friends uh, on the other side. That's sweet. I feel that she did rec um, reconnect with a friend of hers. Uh, from school, from the school days I just heard. Uh, she's amazed of how many people she is, uh, she's showing me, uh, of everybody that she knows over there. So she, and she's very sociable, just kind of merrily going her way, you know, uh, talking about the old times, you know. Uh, she hears, um, the mother here hears the, um, the voice of her husband, okay, who is still here on this earth. Uh, and when he cries and says her name, actually cries out her name, that's sad. Um, that's really sad. Um, just know, just let him know that she is around, okay? She rushes back no matter how sociable she's being on the other side. She stops everything uh, to go be be there present uh energetic wise okay it it drives her a little crazy seeing him upset and not being able to help him at all i do feel that she is eagerly waiting for his um uh, arrival onto the other side one day not for a little while here uh but definitely you know they will reunite. They will be talking. You know, they had a great relationship I'm picking up. Uh, very heartfelt. It's like they finish each other's sentences, you know. Uh, but definitely she will continue to watch over him more so when he is emotional. He does get emotional, even though he may, like I said, I feel that uh, when he's around people, family, friends, what have you, uh, he shows kind of like a front, like nothing's wrong. But deep, deep down, he is um, very emotional over this, and, and rightfully so. 
She wants you to know that she made it quickly to the other side. I literally heard it was like a freight train. She laughs at everything that she says. That's funny. She kind of reminds me of me. I do the same thing at times. Uh, but yeah, she she cannot wait until her love greets her. Stay strong. She just called uh, the husband honey. Okay. Um, so that could definitely resonate with somebody. <clears throat> <laughs> she's like, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. She's like making plans for the future of them to uh, reconnecting here, say, saying something about we're going to get our own little place. We're going to have our own little, I've heard, I heard apartment. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if there was talk about moving into an apartment, you know, moving out of a house and moving into an apartment or always wanted an apartment. I don't know, but I did hear apartment here. Uh, but she's going to set up the decor and she's just, she's busy. You know, she's busy on the other side preparing. Okay. Uh, just let the uh, dad know. Okay. The husband here uh, that apparently the dad is, is thinking to himself, uh, uh, do you miss me? You know, do you love me? Are you still around? Yes to all three. Okay, yes, I miss you. Yes, I'm around. Just give him that hope, that confirmation, okay? Yeah, she's definitely preparing here, putting in the work, uh, but definitely hates to see um, him upset and crying, okay? Uh, she's one of those, and boy, she's very similar. <laughs> uh, I wonder what sign she could be a Libra, because I'm a Libra, and I, I, I seem to have a lot of traits like her. I don't know, uh, but definitely it's kind of like um, uh, she was always like this, even here on Earth, that when she sees somebody upset, she was the first one there to make jokes, you know, uh, just to cheer them up, you know, and she wouldn't stop until, you know, she heard enough laughter from that person that was down in the dumps. And and she feels kind of helpless that she can't make him laugh. She can't cheer him up, you know. She wishes that she could take away all the pain. Uh, but, oh, there's the Libra card. Uh, but definitely, yeah, and Emperor. So very strong connection, I feel, that these two have. But I do feel that, you know, um, I don't feel like he made any real mistakes in the marriage. But he wishes that, uh, the dad here, wishes that they would have more time. You know, I wish I, you know, I could have, would have, should have, should have said more. I should have. I uh, wish I was there, you know, uh, more, you know, kind of thing. Kind of beating himself up a little bit there, but it's okay. You know, uh, my mom, oh, I'm not going to say that. My mom used to say this too shall pass, but that's a horrible example, uh, especially for this time frame. But it, it, it will, you know, it's, you're going, the dad's going through phases, you know, of uh, mourning and, and sorrow, you know. Uh, so it, it, it will it will move past, you know, eventually, but you never truly forget, okay? Uh, but absolutely, you two will reunite here. I keep getting repeat messages. Make sure you do something, this is for the dad, make sure you do something uh, nice for yourself. Uh, treat yourself. Uh, she is uh, spunky with her words. Uh, I'm going to correct it a little bit. And she's laughing. She goes, no, don't. No, don't correct it. <laughs> she's funny. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to correct that one. Uh, basically, don't, uh, don't hold all the money in. Make sure you spend a little bit, okay, um, of the money here and enjoy it. Know how much that she is still around and that she still loves you here. There's no doubt about that. She's saying that about, you know, the how she can kind of uh, transport into this realm from that realm. You know what I mean? The afterlife here. I feel that, I don't feel that he's going to, that the dad's going to get remarried. I really don't. But uh, I, I feel that he will find his happy place again. He could be uh, eventually like hanging out with his buddies, you know. Uh, guy friends, you know, kind of thing, you know, to kind of, uh, find happiness again. Uh, 
uh, think clearly. Don't. Uh, this is little advice from her to him, saying that think clearly. Don't get up in your head here. You're only gonna, you know, uh, you know, complicate things. Make sure you get plenty of sleep. I feel that he has a hard time sleeping at least initially here, uh, and don't give up on me. I'm still around. There will be work here, uh, being put in here. There's times where he just doesn't want to talk about it, especially around, like I said, family and friends here. Okay, I feel that he the reasoning to that is that his feelings, his opinions, and his thoughts are more private. Okay, um, that he doesn't feel the right, it's right to express that. He'd rather keep it inside. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know, to each its own. Uh, but definitely, you two will reunite. You all will, even the daughter. I still didn't forget about the daughter. Uh, but definitely just know that how much she loves him, loves her daughter here, loves her whole family. She's correcting me. Uh, but definitely, that's what I have, guys. I hope that this helps. Thank you again. I do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.